Hey everyone, welcome back and let's write some more neat code today. So today let's solve the problem array with elements not equal to the average of its neighbors. We're given an array of distinct integers and we just want to rearrange the values in that array such that any particular value in the array such as three is not equal to the average of its neighbors. In this case, given this input array, if you look at three and you take a look at its neighbors, two and four, when you add those neighbors together, take the average, two plus four divided by two gives us three, which is not what we want. We don't want the neighbors of three to be equal to three. So how can we rearrange this so that that's never gonna be the case? Well, a brute force approach would be to take every single permutation of the input array nums and then find one that works. Well, that's gonna be n a factorial roughly. That's gonna be the time complexity. Question is, can we do better? And the answer is yes. There is a greedy algorithm, which is gonna be roughly uh, n log n because we're gonna need sorting. And then once we sort the input array, we can actually build the array in linear time. Let me show you how. So take a look at this example. First of all, we have five values, right? So five different spots where we need to put a value in. And we don't want the average Averages of any of the values. Uh, you know, if we put a value here, we don't want the average of the neighbors to be equal to this value. Now, we're given the fact that every value in the input array is distinct. So if we sort this input array, it's going to be basically how it is right now, right? One, two, three, four, five. It's already sorted. So what my question to you is what is a way that we can place these numbers such that there's never gonna be a case where a value is equal to the average of its neighbors. Well, basically, right now we have one, two, three, right? Two is equal to the average of its neighbors. If you take one plus three, add them together, it's equal to the average of its neighbors. You wanna know a way that we could guarantee that this would never occur if maybe, just maybe, we could guarantee that two, like for example, wherever two happens to be in the input array, if we could somehow guarantee that for two, its neighbors, both of the neighbors left and right are gonna be larger than two. How could it be that we could guarantee that we could put four and five on the sides of two, right? Because if both of the numbers are larger than two, of course the average of these two numbers is never going to equal two, right? Is there a way we can guarantee that, right? Or what are we trying to guarantee? For every single number, we're going to guarantee that its neighbors are going to be larger? Well, what, what about a number like five, right? Five is the largest number in the array. So of course, we can't guarantee that both of its neighbors left and right are gonna be larger than five. How about we try to do the opposite? How about for five, we guarantee that both of its neighbors are going to be less than five. For example, we have neighbors two and three, right? These are available values in the input array. Let's say the neighbors are two and three. If you add these two together and take the average, it's not equal to five. So then we're also good. Is there a way we can guarantee this? That for every single value, both of its neighbors are either going to be less than it or are going to be greater than it. And yes, we can guarantee this. Let me show you how it's really simple. We just take roughly the first half of the values in the input array, which in this case is one, two, three. We place them, we, we, we basically insert them into the array, but we're skipping an index each time. So we put a one here, and instead of putting two in the next spot, we skip a spot and then put the two here. And then instead of putting three here, we skip a spot and then put three here, right? We we put some spacing in between these values. Next, we only have four and five left. We're gonna put four and five in the remaining spot. So we're gonna put a four here because take a look now, its neighbors are less than it. And we're gonna put a five here. So take a look at five both of its neighbors are less than it. Take a look at two, and both of its neighbors are greater than it. Three and one are both edge values. So this is a valid ordering, and we both we all know that this would be pretty straightforward to actually code up. This is a linear time algorithm other than the sorting portion that I mentioned. So it's definitely tricky to come up with this. I hope that I explained the logic pretty well and that you can kind of understand why this works. So now let's go ahead and jump into the code. Okay, so now let's 
code this up and remember the first thing we want to do is sort the input array so let's do that and we want to build the output array we'll call it result and we want to build this with a loop and the way i'm going to code this up you can do it many different ways is basically while uh, basically until the length of result is equal to the length of nums we know we still have to add some elements so basically while this is not true we are going to continue to add elements now how are we going to add elements well we're going to start with we're going to add we're basically going to have two pointers, right? So left and right pointers, because we're going to alternate or when we're adding values, we're going to first add a small value, then we're going to add a large value, right? We're going to alternate. And how we do that, we have sorted the input array. We're going to have our left pointer be at the beginning and our right pointer be at the end. And we're going to alternate uh, where we take values from. So first we'll take a value from the left side. So we'll say result dot append nums of left, and then we'll increment that left pointer. And then we'll do the exact same thing with the right side. So result dot append nums of right and right plus one. But actually, it, it could be possible that we have an odd number of total elements. So we don't want to end up adding a duplicate, right? So basically, if our after we increment the left pointer, if it ends up being greater than this right pointer, then we don't want to end up adding an element multiple times. So let's just make that check. So if left is greater than right, then don't do this uh, portion. So let's actually change this to if only left is less than or equal to right then we're done and we can go ahead and return the result and actually since this is our right pointer we don't want to increment it we want to decrement it so that we can shift it to the other side so sorry about that bug but as you can see this is the entire code and yes the solution does work so i hope that this was helpful if it was please like and subscribe it supports the channel a lot and i'll hopefully see you pretty soon thanks for watching